Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to reset your Aya Neo to factory settings and set it up again. So this is something I typically do for new devices that I get. I know when you first open up the Aya Neo Next, it has like a bunch of stuff everywhere and it's like a big mess. But I'm going to show you guys how to reset it to factory default settings like, you know, any Windows computer. The, the Aya Neo is essentially a Windows computer. I should say that it's just a Windows handheld computer. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up or sorry how to reset it however um we are gonna need two things or technically three things you're gonna need a mouse and keyboard that's two of them and the third one is gonna be a little hub so that you can connect your mouse and keyboard to it because i'm gonna tell you right now resetting the aya neo next without a mouse and keyboard is really really difficult i don't know if it's possible because i haven't been able to so setting it up without a mouse and keyboard when you first receive it, obviously it's easy. But resetting it to reinstall Windows 10 or Windows 11 is really difficult without a mouse and keyboard. So I highly recommend you have those three things before you get started on this tutorial. You don't even need those three, just two of them. And um, obviously you need a window, a copy of Windows. You know, if you have a Windows, a USB flash drive with Windows on it, you need to install that to windows like we will right here in a couple seconds but yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how to get started i'm gonna use my computer here as a little like sample just because the aya's um display isn't that good it's a 1280 by 800 so we're just gonna go into the windows settings keep in mind i'm on windows 11 so if you're on windows 10 the process is gonna be a little bit different but you're still gonna go into the settings here and you're gonna go into where it says a uh, system and then you're gonna go into recovery and then restart now. So once you click on restart now, you need to make sure that your Windows USB um, drive is already inside your Aya. So that way you can just find the one that it is and restart into it. And I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff on my Aya next. So just keep in mind that you do these steps first. And then from there, we can get started, folks. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to click use a device and then I'm going to use my flash drive and it's going to boot me into the Windows load up menu. So just go ahead and give it a second here. It's going to be the exact same thing for you guys. Excellent. As you can see, I'm already inside the Windows. So we're going to click next here, install now. And then the setup is just going to get started like a regular Windows installation. It's really, really easy. I'm just going to click the little check mark and then next. And then custom and you're gonna have to delete all these partitions because these are the partitions to your aya so like a regular windows clean installation i'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of them i have two terabytes as you can see so i'm just gonna wipe all of these out then next again and then from here i'm just gonna give it a couple sec there we go so see that's the ending right there it's already ending i just cut it that part because it takes a long time but believe me it the process is the same and then if from here you can click restart now or you can just let it restart on its own and then it's gonna load back into the aya neo next an excellent windows is gonna load up without issues here i'm just gonna click yes on united states because you know that's that's where i'm at united states and then from here i'm just gonna click yes for the u.s keyboard and skip and then from here i'm going to connect to my wi-fi um depending on what you guys use like i said just connect to your wi-fi make sure your wi-fi is 2.5 gigahertz um obviously you can't connect to 5g or 6g just yet but i'm just going to connect to my wi-fi here there we go and it's going to say my pc might restart before i continue so this is all normal so like i said don't touch it don't do anything this is a regular windows installation if you've done this before you know exactly how to do it so we're just going to give it a couple seconds here to load and you're just going to go inside your google and then you can actually set up the fingerprint right now if you want to i'm going to show you guys right now as i'm going to do it so i'm just going to go ahead and click on the little yes and then i'm going to put my finger on the side of it and it's going to start receiving it there you go right there it's already receiving it so windows has already detected the fingerprint um driver or device so we don't need to worry about the driver for that later on so i'm going to go ahead and just finish this up here perfect now we just need to make a pin and this is where i said you need a keyboard so i'm just gonna put in my pin and then i'm gonna click okay your pin can be whatever just make sure you remember it that's the most important part don't do what i did and forget it and then i'm gonna set it up as a new device and for here i like to keep these off because this is just privacy stuff i mean microsoft still tracks you sadly so but it doesn't hurt to turn all these off if you want to keep them on that's your own thing not mine but I always keep my stuff off. And then I'm going to skip here. I don't really want to customize it. Windows 11 allows you to do that. 
and then I'm gonna click next because you know this is your Microsoft um, account now from here I, I decline this because I don't use Microsoft Word I have Google so if you use that good for you if not then you know don't use it and game pass I don't use game pass so I just skip it if you have game pass great if not I don't know that doesn't worry and here we are we are in the Windows 11 menu now from here we're gonna go to the internet because we actually have to download a couple things so let's just go ahead just follow me on this we're gonna download two things it's gonna be the AMD drivers as well as the IA Neo next drivers so I'm gonna show you guys you're just gonna type in on um, Google or Bing in this case you're just gonna type in something really simple it's AMD drivers that's it that's all you have to type in this is the official AMD drivers from AMD themselves do not use the ones that come with the uh, next package that one is really outdated and I'll show you guys later but that one is super duper outdated and I will be leaving a link to AMD and Ian Neal's website so that way you guys can go in there but I'll show you guys this whole process here now you're just gonna click on where it says download now for Windows 10 and 11 don't download the Linux drivers just the Windows 10 and 11 and there it is right there it's downloading as as we're waiting here this is in portrait mode so just stick with me for this um it's in portrait mode for a reason and I won't switch it to regular landscape until we're done installing the AMD drivers so for now let's just go ahead and download these guys perfect and then i'm gonna open up the exe this is the official exe i'm click yes and then install and just let amd install it the drivers on this thing just let it do its thing you know like i said don't touch it don't move around with it we'll get to the drivers for the touch screen later all right so while that loads up let's go ahead and download the next drivers so i'm gonna type in aya neo as you can see right there in my little search history aya neo and then i'm just gonna click enter and it should be the second website you see right there aya neo i'm gonna leave a link to it so don't worry you guys won't have to type it in but you're gonna click on support and scroll down to where it says software and driver download and you're gonna click more so that's the more section and you should see something that says ion neo next driver package go ahead and download that it's gonna take a while because it is a couple of drivers but we only need two folders because one of those folders contains two drivers that we need and like i said i'm going to show you guys this whole process it's really really easy once you know what to do um if you don't know what to do it can confuse you a bit but i'm going to show you guys this whole process and there it is while we were downloading that it looks like the driver is ready to install for amd so just click install and then you're going to install all of these just click install all of these we need all of them and then yep just let it install its amd drivers and once it's all done i'll show you guys how to change it from portrait to landscape because it'll be safer that way i want to say excellent and it's all done so i'm actually gonna click finish on this i'm gonna click finish then we're just gonna go into windows restart so i just want to restart this real quick just to make sure anything is okay it's always important to restart your devices after your installed drivers and things like that but once we're back in here we're gonna go ahead and get started on the next step all right so once we've logged in and everything we're gonna go into the windows once again we're gonna go into settings i'm gonna full screen this because we're still in portrait mode so i'm gonna full screen it we're gonna go into display and we're gonna go into display orientation portrait and you're gonna go to landscape and keep changes this is how we change it from portrait to landscape this is the correct file all right now let's go back to the regular video alrighty folks so as you can see I went ahead and restarted my computer so now I am at the um, regular home page as you can see the drivers are already installed for the display we have the AMD drivers already installed right here now this next part we're just gonna install the um device drivers so from what i know from what i understand you only need three of them i have for some reason packages like a bunch of them and i'm going to show you guys right here so we're going to go ahead and extract the ineo next full drivers that we downloaded so we're going to extract this And there we go right here. So as you can see, it says Aya Neo Next Full Drivers. Don't click this Mac OS. This is only if you're on Mac, but I don't, I don't know why you would use that for this. This is a Windows device, whatever. So here we go. So first things first, you're just going to follow me. You're going to delete these two. Next, you're going to delete these four. This is the G sensor. I don't know what this G sensor is for. The next finger 
The finger already works for the um, finger unlock through Windows. The Direct 2010, I don't know, this is the Direct X, I believe. If you're installing Steam, you don't need this. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need these two. These two come with Steam. Just download Steam. I imagine you would use the Ion Next handheld for Steam. And even if you don't, you don't need these. Like, I don't, I don't want to say I don't trust it, but I just, I don't, you know, for safety reasons, I prefer you get this from the official instead of from Aya themselves. So we're just going to go ahead and delete this. Now, the reason I had us install the, um, radio, the, um, drivers from amd's website directly is because the uh drivers they give you are really old these are 2020 drivers that they give you for some reason i don't know why but just delete this do not install the amd drivers from the aya neo next don't try to like and believe me i've tried it and you're gonna get a bunch of errors because they're old drivers so just delete this do not install this the only two folders you should have here are the wi-fi and bluetooth driver and the touch screen driver this touch screen driver is called good dix driver so we're gonna go ahead right click extract all and there we go right there so let me go ahead and exit this make sure you extract it and then same thing for this bluetooth one extract all perfect now even though your wi-fi works because the aya does connect to a regular 2.5 gigahertz wi-fi it's still important to update this because the aya device the aya next device has a 6 g wi-fi device it's, it's a 6g wi-fi so it, it but the drivers aren't installed so it's probably a good idea to install it and let me go ahead and just delete these two folders so we're gonna start off with the touch screen first so you're gonna click inside this folder here then you're gonna click inside the signed good dx not the mac os ignore the mac os for this entire tutorial And you see here we have three folders what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and make sure that you can find the one that says install do not click them do not left click them don't click them you're gonna right click and it's gonna be for me the one in the middle see where it says install right here so basically what's going on is we're just installing the driver onto the aya itself so that's what we're gonna do here so just go ahead and click install it's gonna say do you want to open this file yes then we say yes again and just give it a minute and it's already done it's that simple go ahead and start touching your um device and as you can see i'm using my finger right here this is my finger i don't know if you can see the little circle you can kind of see the little circle of where my finger is going but that was the touch driver so that's the the to be able to touch the screen so we're done with that so from here let's just go ahead and delete this folder and i'm going to be showing you the wi-fi and bluetooth so once again go into it now we're going to start off with the bluetooth first once again remember guys we're going to right click and find the one that says install do not open with we're just going to look for the one that says install it should only be one of these not and there isn't two of them it's only one so this one is very difficult to mess up as you can see this one says install but if i go up here to these other two show more options see they don't say install none of them say install except for one it's only one we're installing so show more options install open yes and that's it it's very simple then we're going to go into the wi-fi next so it's wlan and remember same exact process you're going to go show more options look for the one that says install there it is right there install and it's only one and you can delete these files once you are done installing them they install super quickly and then you can just delete it so you don't need to have it on here so install open yes this is the wi-fi driver and as you can see i might lose wi-fi connection here in a couple seconds oh thankfully i didn't okay good we're gonna go back over here and that's it i'm gonna go into my downloads and now we can just delete these and then bam and we're all done now if you want to make sure your drivers are installed correctly you're just gonna click on this pc we're gonna do a little bit of hackery stuff with the manage 
and then you're gonna go into device manager here is the um fingerprint like i said you don't need to install the fingerprint driver because windows recognizes it automatically there's my bluetooth driver and where's my network driver there it is there's my network driver as you can see like i said windows recognizes the um fingerprint driver automatically so i don't know why aya has you install that but just ignore that one for now the only one that to this day i don't know what it is is this one i thought it was the gyro the gyro controls so i installed that previously as a test and it still left this as unknown device so i don't know what this is so for now just ignore this this doesn't bother you with anything honestly and from here you are free to go if you want you can disconnect your keyboard and mouse you can disconnect that and start using it regularly and you can download your steams and your epics and your um all these all the games you can download your genshins i know i do on this one but yeah folks that's like it after this it's just a regular computer all the drivers are good to go you have the latest amd driver ready to go in fact if you want to just make sure you have amd running you can go right here to where it says AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. We're gonna skip this. And here it is. This is the AMD drivers from here. I have the current version, which is 22.51, released on 2022. So this is the latest AMD driver. And from here, you would update it. If you've used an NVIDIA G, G, um, G experience, it's the same thing. NVIDIA and this are the exact same. This one just has more options for you even got uh, some tutorials here but you don't need to worry about all this stuff if you want to fake mess around with anything here that's up to you uh <laughs> i don't really mess with anything except for the coloring here's automatic updates i usually keep download drivers and software automatically just so that it can update by itself and yeah, folks, that's it. I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit. I know in the beginning, the Aya Neo Next, when it first came out, I was having some issues in how to install the drivers. But um, once I was able to figure it out, I just had to make this tutorial eventually. So I hope this helps somebody out who had who, who was having issues with this, as it can be really confusing to install, sadly. And Aya, for some reason, packages really old drivers. Like I said, you only need to download three things from Aya's website or sorry one thing which is the full um package driver that I showed you and you only need to install three things from there which is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth that comes in one folder and the touch uh sensor which is for the touch screen I don't know why they package other things in there that you don't need but I uh, that's just I guess that's how they do it but just ignore those three follow this tutorial and you'll be good to go on the Aya anyways folks thanks for watching and now if you'll excuse me I gotta find some way to recover all my video game ROMs on this because this isn't my Aya, this is my boyfriend's and I don't want to make him upset. Now go on and watch the School Days review, a video I made on just how much I really don't like this anime and how it's been clouding me since I was in high school. No, 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 no!